giving up. Hey guys, how are you going? It's been a while, I've been uh, pretty busy with a couple of side projects and well, my main project um, has been taking up a lot of my time so I haven't been able to make many of these videos unfortunately but I just want to give you a overview of how my diet is progressing. So as you can see here I've made pretty steady progress uh, every single week losing generally around a kilo. Um, the first two weeks uh, there was no carb up so it was 13 days of straight low carb so there would be a lot of water weight lost and a lot of glycogen lost. Well, pretty much all of my glycogen would have been lost. So that's why there's a big weight drop there between those two weeks. Um, on the week three, 87.9 kilos, I started weighing on a Saturday. Uh, that's only a one day difference and I have no idea why I weighed on the Friday on the first two weeks. Uh, week four, 87 kilos, so I lost nearly a kilo, which is quite surprising. I had three days off the diet. Um, using just portion controls, so I was still in what I believe to be a caloric deficit and that's why the uh, three days off keto didn't didn't affect me all that greatly. I mean, I lost 100 grams less than the other week, so I <laughs> can't really complain about that. Uh, 86 on week 5, I did have a day off of uh, intermittent fasting here. I think I just ate, not whatever I wanted, but I ate whenever I wanted on the Saturday before the carb up. So. That didn't really seem to affect me at all. I mean, I still lost a kilo, I was at 86. And then week six, which is the end of this week right now, uh, I'm on the, the Sunday today, just before I carb up. So I've been fasted for about 30, 30, yeah, about 30 hours at the moment. And I actually don't feel like eating at all. Don't really feel like carving up. So 84.5 kilograms uh, last night, I believe, after work I weighed. Um, that's awesome. I mean, so I've nearly lost 10 kilos in the six weeks. I think I've maintained most of my muscle. All my strength in the gym is pretty well the same. Um, I haven't really been getting the drops off in sets or reps as, as I thought I would. Obviously, later on in the week when I've got less glycogen, the workouts aren't as good, but then as soon as I, I carve up on a Sunday, or well, on a Monday, it's generally pretty good. I can do like exactly what I would normally do on carbs uh, if I was eating them every day. So. That's good. So yeah, I'm incredibly happy with how the um, the diet's going. Um, I'm looking leaner in the mirror for sure. That's about it for my, uh, my dieting program, I guess. I'll give you an example of generally the guidelines that I follow. I absolutely love intermittent fasting, lowering your insulin levels, raising your growth hormone levels, raising your catabolic hormones, the things that break down the fats. That's all that, that's all, all that happens. That's all that all happens while we're fasting. So. It's just a great tool to utilize while you're losing weight. So how I generally set out my um, week as far as intermittent fasting goes and my caloric intake, I will fast on the Monday because I carve up on the uh, Sunday, so I will do a full 24 hour water fast on Monday and then eat three standard meals on the Tuesday and then fast for 20 hours and eat in a four hour window on the Wednesday. I do that on Thursday and Friday as well. And then on Saturday, I generally have a full day water fast or if I'm feeling like I need to recover or I'm feeling like I'm pretty sore generally like I need the food and this is like not want the food but need the food then I will also have a 20 hour fast in the 4 hour eating window on the Saturday and then Sunday being my carb up day I'll generally wait until I've done a glycogen full di glycogen deplenishment workout um, it generally seems to happen on my back and biceps day and then I will follow it up with like a, a circuit or some abs or something like that, and then I'll uh, eat all the carbs. I try to get around 600 grams of carbs in, plus my uh, maintenance calories for that day. And I generally, I sometimes even lose weight that day. It's very hard for me to eat so many carbs because I'm not making the uh, the wrong choices in food, I guess, the wrong choices. So like, I'm not eating heaps of fucking chocolate and ice cream and shit. I'm just eating like rice and chicken, maybe eat some burritos, which probably, <laughs> isn't uh, the best but it's definitely not the worst either so that's kind of how i've been setting up my week every day i'll, I'll go between 1950 to 2650 calories uh, depending on whether i want to be at maintenance for that day whether i want to be in a 20 percent caloric deficit it also changes as to whether i'm training or whether i'm resting so these are all values that you have to experiment with and find what works for you and i mean i've been doing this for quite a while now I've, had, I've got about three years of experience in dieting, so I know what works for me, 
but I don't really know what, what works for me and I can give suggestions to other people but obviously I think it's important that you experiment for yourself and find what works for you, figure it out, uh, experiment, don't be afraid, don't be scared to get started because uh, if I can do it, of all people, then you can definitely do it. So That's what's happening with my week plan. Uh, as far as training goes, I have started only the squat, my low bar squat program again. I want to try and peak to a 240 kilogram beltless squat, um, beltless, wrapless, raw squat, whatever, whatever you want to call it, bare knees. I've done 240 before uh, bare knees, but it was with a belt. Now, most of the issues to come with like my intercostal and things like that was that I was wearing the belt and I was putting too much focus on the belt and I wasn't bracing my core. My core wasn't activating to stabilize my body. So now what I'm trying to do is all the squats I do, I don't wear a belt at all. I'm really, really focusing on activating that core and keeping myself solid. Um, and it has been going pretty well. I did a 180 kilogram high bar uh, squat beltless and there was no pain. I could really feel my core working there, that's for sure. There was no pain in my lower back or anything like that. Uh, there was some pain in my intercostal for the day or day after that. I actually, I take some pain because it was pretty bad. But then it just it smoothed out and it was, it was fine like two days later. So that's about all I have uh, for today, guys. I'll see you guys next time.